everybody. Welcome back to Planet Einstein. This is Jackie Schwartz and I'm here today talking to Stephen Spaulding who's the owner of Summer Shade Soap Company and we're going to be making soap. So tell us what kind of soap? Uh, well today we're going to be making the laundry butter that we offer. It is an all-natural alternative to laundry detergent. And why? Are we going to be making laundry butter today? Well, there's so many harmful chemicals in laundry detergent now, detergents nowadays that people don't understand that a lot of skin issues like dry skin, eczema, and stuff are actually caused by these chemicals. And so we want to offer people an all-natural alternative to those chemical-laden products just to have a healthier lifestyle. So this is the healthy choice, and how are we going to do this? Well, first we're going to take this bar of coconut soap and then we're going to melt it down in water and then we'll add borax and washing soda to it to give it an extra detergent type quality and then after that we'll just add whatever essential oil we want and that's really about it. It's simple as it sounds mm -hmm. so let's get started. Hi everybody welcome back I'm Jackie Schwartz here with Stephen Spaulding. We are finishing up the um, laundry butter soap and Stephen's going to tell us the next step in the process so go to it Stephen. <laughs> all right well now that we have all of our ingredients portioned out in different bowls what we're going to do is we're going to take the ground coconut that I grated up earlier the coconut soap and then we're going to mix it with hot water and you want the water to be hot but you don't want it to be boiling by any means, because at that point, you know, you'll, all, a lot of the water will evaporate and we very much need this water content. And so you just mix it up for a little bit until it's completely dissolved, which will take about a minute or two. And how much water was that, did you tell us? Uh, four cups of water. Okay. And that's, you know, for one batch. Okay. And it helps if you constantly stir it. Just move it around because it'll clump up once you put the whole thing in there. And so if you can de-clump it best you can, it'll dissolve faster. It looks like we're getting there. Mm -hmm. So that should take about, what, two to three minutes? Yeah, about. And if you're making a huge batch like that, uh, you know, with a couple different bars, I would recommend probably maybe about 10 minutes at that point. All right, it's pretty well dissolved, almost. stovetop for this kind of thing. Especially the gas ones where you can just apply the flame directly to it. Alright, that looks pretty good. And at that point it just looks like soapy water, but we need to pull it off of the heat for a minute and let it just cool for a second. I'll do that by just continuing to mix it. two and a half cups of uh, warm water just to help cool it down a little bit and to add a little bit more water content to it. And then we'll take the borax and washing soda that we have already portioned out and we'll just pour it right in there. And it's going to thicken up real hard when you have that. So just stir it around. And washing soda and borax are both really water soluble, so it doesn't take too long to dissolve, but you just, you know, like with the coconut soap that I put in there, it'll have a tendency to clump up, so if you just constantly move it around for a while. I was going to see if we could lean that up a little bit and let them see the consistency. So the, is this starting to thicken? Can mm -hmm. you feel it? Yeah, totally. Okay. And 
how do you know when it's thick enough? Uh, well, I mean, we can only sit here and stir it for so long. We're just trying to dissolve the washing soda and borax. But then we'll have to let it sit for about 12 hours, and it'll thicken up over that time. Then once you've let it sit for 12 hours, mm -hmm. then what do you do? At that point, we'll come in with our industrial grade stick blender, which we have right here. And we'll basically just beat the crap out of it for a little <laughs> bit until it actually gets into that uh, sort of paste butter consistency. And just, that's the technical term, uh, oh, beat the definitely. crap out of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, you got a, all sorts of technical terms like that when you work in the soap industry. <laughs> Absolutely. So is there any at point at which you know, ah, oh, that's enough stirring? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're pretty much at that point. I'm not feeling too many more clumps right now, and I'm okay. feeling a consistent resistance as I pull the whisk around. Okay. So, so that should be good for now. At this point, then, we just let it sit mm -hmm. for 12 hours. You come back with the industrial mixer, and then the final product is what? Uh, it's just, yeah, it's the laundry butter and that consistency, and when we're beating it up with the stick blender, we'll add whatever essential oil we want to, uh, you know, scent it with, and then, yeah, we'll just beat it up in there, and then we'll just spoon it into a jar. Okay, and then, if you decide you want to buy it already complete, and uh, not do this process at home yourself, you can find these products on Stephen's website at summershadesoap.com and then every Saturday you can also find me at the Barstown Road Farmers Market in the church parking lot right off of Deer Park Avenue. So thanks for being with us today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Stephen, thanks for being with us. No problem.